This is the first of a few videos I'll be making to show you how to program a circuit using Pickaxe Editor. Now the first thing you want to do is download it because you can't really learn how to program without having a bit of practice first. So I'll put an annotation on the video just now uh, to take you to the link to download the Pickaxe Programming Editor. Okay, so now I'm going to open up the Pickaxe Programming Editor itself. A window should come up saying uh, which mode you want to program in if it, if it ever loads. Uh, I personally use 18x but it's up to you, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So you click OK when this comes up and uh, here's your dialog box. Now the very first thing that you want to do is give a label to your program. So you do that by saying main and then a colon. It doesn't have to be main, it can be any word unless it's a command word. So for example, one of the command words used to uh, make current flow through a particular pin in the uh, microprocessor is high. And you can tell it's a command word because it turns blue. So with the programming editor you can use any word as long as it remains black uh, in the text. So for example, I couldn't use a number, one. Uh, or I couldn't use a symbol like pin zero. But I could use main, uh, I could do main2, I could do uh, next prog, uh, I could do cheese, you know, any anything you want really. Uh, once you've got the first label in your program, you will want to start learning all different commands. So if that's the first label, one of the commands you'll need to know is go to. Now the go to uh, command, as you can see, it's a command that's highlighted in blue in the editor. Just allows you to go to any of the labels you want. So, for example, if I've got two labels here, main and main two, then if I said here main go to main, that'll just keep going around in a loop because it, it's good. It'll be go to main, so the program would go to the label named main, and main would tell it to go to main. If I said go to main two and then in main 2 I said go to main it would go around in a loop because the go to main 2 would lead it to main 2 and the main 2 would lead it back to main I'll just show you this in the simulation uh, with the simulations you can ignore these two uh, dialog boxes, it's this one that, that we're worried about but in this you can't really see it because you haven't got any uh, lights or inputs going on or, on or off so here it's just looping between the two and it will do that continuously. When ending a loop of a program you are going to want to have a go to main. So for example no matter what I put here as long as it's a sensible command then it will still go back to main. So for example if I did hi2 which would deliver uh, current to pin2 it would turn pin2 on and then loop the program again. And so pin2 would remain on. If I wanted pin2 to go off and on, I have to put a low command in, low2. High and low are just different ways of saying uh, put current through or stop current going through a certain pin in the circuit, in this case pin2 or output2. So here you'll see it going on and off as it loops through the program, first turning it on, then turning it off, and starting again. If you were to put this on a circuit however, because of the speed at which the circuit goes at, which is a lot faster than the simulation, you wouldn't see anything. You just might see a flicker now and then, because it would be turning it on and off thousands of times a second. So what you want to do is, if you actually want to see the LED or whatever you've got connected to it going on and off, you want to add a wait command. The wait command waits in seconds. So if, for example, if I put wait 3, it will wait 3 seconds. If I put it between high and low, and low and go to, it'd be what it'd do, it'd turn the LED on for three seconds, and then it'd turn the LED off for three seconds. Because it's turning it on instantly, doing nothing for three seconds, turning it off, and then doing nothing for three seconds, and looping it through again. You can also use the pause command. Now, just as the wait command is in uh, seconds, pause command is in milliseconds. So for example here you get the same result 
using pause 3000, 3000 milliseconds, is the same as 3 seconds. Now if I were you, I'd stop the video here uh, and just have a go at using high, weight, low, pause and go to uh, using different labels and the pickaxe command and uh, just getting a feel for the program before you move on. OK, so hopefully you've had a bit of a go with programming. Uh, now I'll just show you another example using high, low, go to, pause and wait. So the first thing I'm going to do is label my program uh, LED flash. Now let's say we have four LEDs, each connected to uh, outputs 0 through 3. So you've got an output 0, 1, 2 and 3. That's 4 overall. Don't forget 0 is an output. And let's say I want each of those to come on and then go off in order. So we'll have high 0, low 0, high 1, low 1. And I think you can see where this is going until we're done. And now if we want to make it loop round, all we've got to do is put a go to LED flash at the bottom. Now the go to command it will go to any label so long as you've got the names exact. Now if we go through all of this, it will turn them on and off but a lot faster than we want them to. So we can slow this down once again by putting, let's put pause 500 in between every command. And what this will do is it will uh, make sure each one is on and off for half a second. Now one more. And now what we should find is that it turns on for half a second, then off, next one on, then off, third one on, then off, etc. Now by no means do we ha have to use only one label uh, in the program. Let's say we wanted to do something different. So at the bottom, we could just continue this program but sometimes, for reasons I'll get into later, uh, we want to go to a different label. So let's put go to uh, flash2. And in flash2 we have a different set of commands. So for example, uh, let's say we want all four LEDs to come on at once, and then all four to go off, and then the program will end. So what we can do is we can have high 0, high 1, high 2, and high 3. We'll have those on for say 3 seconds using the wait 3 command, or we could use the pause 3000 command. And then finally, low 0, low 1, low 2, and low 3. And to end the program, all you've got to do is type end. And now if we start from the very beginning, it'll start from uh, the very first label of the program. So we'll have each one going on and off for half a second. And then we should have all four coming on, waiting three seconds, all four going off, and then end. That about wraps it up for the basic commands that you need. I'll make another video uh, explaining about the if commands, variables, and analog sensors, which uh, you might want to have a look at. But before you do that, I really do urge you to start playing around with this program. Uh, get, a, get used to using the high, pause, low command, experiment a bit, and I'll see you in the next video.